Fronhorn Mill, which is where we are, is, uh, is up for sale. And the uh, present owner asked us, approached us and said, would we like first refusal on this? And we, of course, said yes. So we are buying the mill as a community asset um, so that it becomes something which cannot in the future be sold again. It becomes a community asset for the community and run by the community. Attracted people through to here, which is a lot of it. We invited Siobhan today uh, because we have launched a share offer, a community share offer for the mill. And uh, we are also applying for a community ownership fund grant to buy as part of purchasing the building and we felt it would be really useful to have her see exactly what's going on here understand the history of the building which is primarily about affordable rents but also the diversity of different businesses and organizations that work out from this mill this has been a really important visit. It's one of those places where I just would never have been able to understand just how much uh, amazing impact it has on paper. So I had to go for a bit of a walk around. So Froomhall Mill team have been trying to um, really get together and buy this building. This is a beautiful old industrial site. I back them in their application for the community ownership fund. We've had successes elsewhere, like the Black Horse Pub in Cranham, where we've got money from government um, to support the purchase of a community asset. So that's what we're trying to do here. Now, I said in a speech this week that we are the quirky bit of the Cotswolds with an industrial and innovative heart. I cannot say anymore how much that this place really uh, epitomizes that. I've met some incredible businesses today and what they're doing is they're bringing the commercial to the community and they want to make sure that they're training the next generation of AI specialists, VR specialists, but also community uh, uh, community work as well. Once we own the building, which I hope we do, we're going to be focusing obviously on restoration and maintenance, but more importantly we're going to be looking to nurture and incubate the talents and skill sets of all of those who touch the building. The people that work here, the their clients, um, everyone from businesses with questions about what next step should be, through to people who want to learn skills that will get them into businesses like this. And Clearly the goal is to mix and to bring together both the businesses and the communities, the local people, so they can help each other to develop and become a cohesive community that gets us into the future.